Good morning students. Welcome back to Physical Education Classroom once again. Today I will start from expiration. Expiration during quiet breathing is passive. Passive means inactive. Rehta hai. The diaphragm relaxes and assumes its original dome shift. Matlab, this time diaphragm khud ko relax karke original dome shift mein baapas aa jata hai. The intercostal muscles relax and the ribs revert to their previous position. So, as because intercostal muscles are relaxed, then the ribs came back to their previous position. The lungs recoil and air is driven out through the bronchial tree. So, is the lungs could go flatten karke, jnavi under west air hai, matlab carbon dioxide hai, oxide hai, usko bronchial tree se bahar nikal deta hai. Next, external respiration. Breathing in oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide. External respiration is the exchange of gases between the alveoli and the blood in the surrounding capillary network. So, actually what is external respiration? External respiration is a process by which we can intake oxygen from atmosphere and release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere once again. Through capillary network. This process is actually occurred by diffusion process from alveoli and blood capillaries. The gaseous exchange always takes place according to the laws of diffusion. So, the exchange of gases takes place through the laws of diffusion. Diffusion ka matlab kya hai? Which means the gaseous tra gases travels from higher pressure to lower pressure. Matlab, jahan pe pressure zyada hai, wahan se lower pressure mein jata hai. Oxygen in alveoli at a pressure of 100 mmHg comes in contact with oxygen inside the venous blood at a pressure of 40 mmHg. So, normally in the alveoli, the pressure of oxygen is 100 mmHg. But it diffuses in the venous venous blood this ka normally pressure kya hai 40 mm Hg and therefore oxygen diffuses into the blood into the capillaries then oxygen alveoli se venous blood mein diffuse ho jata hai until the pressure becomes equal jab tak na pressure equal ho in the same way the carbon dioxide present in the blood at a pressure of 46 mm Hg comes in contact with the alveolar carbon dioxide at a pressure of 40 mm Hg. So, normally same way, <coughs> blood, jo hai, carbon dioxide rich blood, usme carbon blood ka jo pressure hai, that is 46 mm Hg. And when it contact with alveolar carbon dioxide, its pressure is 40 mm Hg. Therefore, it moves from blood into the alveoli and it flushed out of the lungs during expiration. So, this diffusion is until the time that the normal pressure is equal to the This is the carbon dioxide lungs ko flatten karke bahar nikal jata hai. So, actually external respiration is a process by which carbon dioxide oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide released in the atmosphere through the diffusion process from the alveoli and blood capillaries. Same way, ye oxygen jo hai alveoli mein, uska pressure 100 mm Hg hai, and venomous blood jo hai, uska pressure hai only 40 mm Hg. So, ye diffusion process tab tak chalta hai, jab tak ye dono pressure equal na ho. Same way, venomous blood, jiska carbon dioxide reach hai, o uska pressure hai 46 mm Hg, aur ye are <coughs> Alveolar carbon dioxide ka pressure hai 40 mm Hg. So, jab, tab, jab tak iska pressure equal na ho, tab tak diffusion hoi ke baad carbon dioxide bahar nikal jata hai through lungs. Next, internal respiration. The exchange of gases which takes place between the blood and the tissue shell is known as internal respiration. So, internal respiration is occurred through tissue shell and blood capillaries so blood capillaries se lekar tissue shell ke andar jo respiration chalta that is internal respiration 
internal respiration oxygen diffused from capillaries into the tissue cell. So, through internal respiration, oxygen diffuses from blood capillaries to tissue cell and carbon dioxide diffuses from the tissue cell to blood capillaries once again. So, basically in this process, oxygen and carbon dioxide diffused from <clears throat> blood capillaries to tissue cell, again tissue cell to blood capillaries. The oxygen which has diffused from alveoli into the blood is carried in the hemoglobin now called oxyhemoglobin to the tissue cell. So, from blood capillaries, hemoglobin combined with oxygen to form oxyhemoglobin and it diffused into the tissue cell and again from tissue cell or hemoglobin combined with carbon dioxide and form carbamino oxyhemoglobin, carbamino hemoglobin which diffuses from tissue cell to blood capillaries once again. Next, oxygen dipped. Matlab oxygen ka kami. We know that after exercise, our body does not immediately return to the resting level. Matlab, hum log exercise karne ke baad turad pehla resting situation mein baapas nahi aa sakte. In lighter exercises, recovery is fast. But if the exercise is heavy, or stressful such as a swimming 200 meters or running 800 meters as fast as possible comparatively the body needs more time to return the rest so if the exercise is heavy then it takes more time to come back in the previous resting situation the oxygen sorry the amount of oxygen consumed during the recovery period of following exercises that is in excess of volume. मतलब ये heavy exercise के बाद हम लोग जब recovery करते हैं मतलब resting phase में आने के लिए उस time जिस दौरान oxygen हम लोग consume करते हैं उसका volume होता है excess which is normally consumed while at rest is called oxygen debt. तो normally उस amount को हम लोग क्या बोलेंगे oxygen debt जिसका amount ज्यादा होता है normal resting phase में हम लोग जितना oxygen consume करते हैं उससे बहुत ज्यादा ही होता है so look at the graph in the exercise situation we consume oxygen in higher level then when we try to recovery from exercise oxygen level kitna jaldi niche aa raha hai matlab is level ke jaane ke baad turant wapas nahi aayega kyunki uska jo consume level hai wo bahut zyada hi hota hai kyunki after the heavy exercise we consume a lot of oxygen rather than the resting situation of common condition. Now definition. What is oxygen dipped? Oxygen dipped is the amount of oxygen consumed during recovery from exercise above that ordinarily consumed at rest in the same time period. So it is the amount of oxygen which we consumed after exercise above that ordinarily consumed at rest in the same time period same time mein hum log agar resting phase mein rehte jitna oxygen hum log consume karte usse zyada matra mein hum log oxygen consume karte hai after the recovery of heavy exercise so us amount ko hum log bolenge oxygen debt the term oxygen debt was first used by the eminent British exercise psychologist Orkiblad Vivian Hill in the year 1922 when he received a Nobel Prize for psychology. Sorry, physiology. According to Hill's views, the oxygen debt means that the oxygen consumed above the resting level during recovery is mainly used to provide energy for bringing the body to its pre-exercise condition including refilling the energy store and removing the accumulated lactic acid. So according to Orkiblad Vivian Hill, the definition of oxygen debt is, matlab, hum log normal situation mein jitna oxygen 
कंज्यूम करते हैं उससे बहुत ज्यादा ऑक्सीजन कंज्यूम करते हैं आफ्टर द रिकवरी सिचुएशन फ्रॉम हेवी एक्सरसाइज और हेवी स्ट्रेस बिकॉज इट प्रोवाइड इट नीडेड मोर एनर्जी टू रिफिलिंग आवर बॉडी इन टू द प्रीवियस सिचुएशन एंड ऑल्सो रिमूव द एकटेड लैक्टिक एसिड इन इन टू द आवर मसल मतलब हम लोगों का मसल में जितना लैक्टिक एसिड स्टोर हो रहा है उसको रिमूव करने के लिए बहुत ज्यादा एनर्जी की जरूरत है इस दौरान हम लोगों को बहुत ज्यादा ऑक्सीजन की जरूरत है नाउ एड इज ऑक्सीजन डेप्ट इज मोर कॉमनली रिफर टू द टर्म एक्सेस पोस्ट एक्सरसाइज ऑक्सीजन कंजम्पन The epoch or oxygen debt is in addition to oxygen normally consumed at rest. So another name or name another name of oxygen debt is epoch. Full form देखो लिखा है. Post exercise oxygen consumption. Excess post exercise oxygen consumption. जिसको हम लोग short form में क्या बोलेंगे? Epoch. Epoch is also known as oxygen debt. Now second wind. In the field of sports, particularly in running a race, the term second wind is commonly used by the coaches or trainers and also experienced by the athletes. So second wind means in the field of sports, particularly in running a race, term second wind is commonly used. So in case of running. The particular term second wind is specially used by coaches or trainers or athletes also. But this state of feeling is unexplained by the athletes because of poor understanding. मगर इसको define करना easy नहीं है because there is no clear conception about it. A second wind is a sensation characterized by a sudden change. of condition or state from an unknown feeling of distress or fatigue during the early part of prolonged exercise as compared to less stressful feeling later in the second exercise so hum log exercise karne ke baad jo tiredness ya fatigue feel karte hain us dauran oxygen consumption bahut zyada hota hai for recovery so us situation ko hum log kya bolenge second wind at the early position at the early portion of workout the athlete feels himself in the uncomfortable state or feel fatigue but suddenly the athletes feel sense of freedom as the distress or feeling of uncomfortable is gone matlab jab koi athlete tension mein hai i mean depressed hai distressed hai matlab uska sports complete ho jane ke baad wo jo relax ho jata hai khud ko comfortable kar lete hai tab ye kya hota hai स्ट्रेस बहुत कम हो जाता है तो उस चीज से हम क्या बोलेंगे सेकेंड विंड द फीलिंग ऑफ सेकेंड विंड इज रिलेटेड टू द मोर कंफर्टेबल पैटर्न ऑफ ब्रीदिंग तो जितना हम इजी ब्रीदिंग ले सकते हैं मतलब साफ ले सकते हैं उस सिचुएशन को हम लोग क्या बोलेंगे सेकेंड विंड सो नॉर्मली व्हाट इज सेकेंड विंड सेकेंड विंड मीन्स हम लोग थ्रू एनी स्पोर्ट्स स्पेशली रनिंग स्विमिंग फॉर अवी एक्सरसाइज हम लोग जो सांस ले रहे हैं वो बहुत डिस्ट्रेसफुल मतलब स्ट्रेसफुल होता है तो आफ्टर रिकवरी हम जब कंफर्टेबल सिचुएशन में हैं तो जितना कंफर्टेबली हम सांस ले सकते हैं उस फीलिंग को हम लोग क्या बोलेंगे सेकेंड वेन नाउ लैक्टिक एसिड इट इज द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एनरोबिक ग्लाइकोलाइसिस ऑलरेडी यू हैव लर्न अबाउट इट इन द क्लास एट so lactic acid and lactic acid is a final product of anaerobic glycolysis process during vigorous exercises when there is a insufficient oxygen supply to muscle cell so when we just uh, just going through uh, <clears throat> heavy exercises so our muscles do not get enough supply of oxygen especially in the beginning of the exercise the pyruvic acid is converted to lactic acid so when we start any exercises then the pyruvic acid which actually present inside our muscle turn into lactic acid matlab hum log ka muscle thakne lagta hai which accumulates and diffuses into tissue fluid and the blood ye lactic acid jo hai normally hum log ka tissue fluid aur blood capillaries ke andar jama ho jana chalu ho jata hai the accumulated lactic acid produces muscle fatigue and muscle soreness soreness to ye lactic acid muscles 
का सेल और ब्लड कैपिलरीज के अंदर जमा होने के कारण हम लोग फैटी या मतलब टायर्डनेस फील कर सकते हैं इस सिचुएशन को हम लोग क्या बोलेंगे लैक्टेट सो नॉर्मली इट इज़ द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एनिरोबिक ग्लाइकोलाइसिस प्रोसेस तो हो गोइंग थ्रू आ हैवी एक्सरसाइज लाइक स्विमिंग रनिंग एक्सेट्रा बेसिकली इन एनी काइंड ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स तो नॉर्मली हम लोग का जो फर्स्ट सब्सटेंस है पायरुविक एसिड दैट टर्न इन टू लैक्टिक एसिड एंड इट स्टार्ट टू स्टोर इन टू ब्लड स्टोर इन टू ब्लड एंड टिश्यू शेल तो ये जमा होने के कारण नॉर्मली ये लैक्टिक एसिड जो है हम लोग का मसल को फैटी फील करवाता है और मसल बिकम सोरेनेस द सिचुएशन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज लैक्टेट नेक्स्ट वाइटल कैपेसिटी वाइटल कैपेसिटी और वी सी द टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर दैट कैन बी वॉलेंटरली मूवड इन वन ब्रेथ फ्रॉम फुल इंस्पिरेशन टू मैक्सिमम एक्सपिरेशन और भाइज भरसा इज टर्न एज वाइटल कैपेसिटी सो लुक एट योर बुक वंस अगेन द टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर दैट कैन बी वॉलेंटियरली मूवड मतलब टोटल वॉल्यूम होता है किसका एयर का जितना हम लोग एक बार फुल्ली सांस लेने पे और मैक्सिमम एक्सकर कर मतलब एक्सपीडिशन करने में माहिर है और वाइस पर्सा दैट इज टाइम एज वाइटल कैपेसिटी दिस कंसिस्ट ऑफ टाइटल वॉल्यूम प्लस इंस्पिरेटोरी एंड एक्सपिरेटोरी रिवर्स वॉल्यूम सो द वाइटल कैपेसिटी इक्वल टू टाइटल वॉल्यूम प्लस Inspiratory and expiratory reserve volume. Inspiratory reserve volume and expiratory reserve volume. Average volume of vital capacity is about four to five liters in healthy young man. For healthy young man, the value of vital capacity is four to five liters. and the value of 7.6 and 9.1 liters have been reported for professional footballer and olympic gold medalist next tidal volume it is the volume of air moved during either inspiratory or expiratory phases each breath to hum log jitna total saans le rahe hain that is the tidal volume sorry vital capacity और जितना टोटल हम लोग सांस बाहर निकल रहे हैं उसको हम लोग क्या बोलेंगे टाइडल वॉल्यूम एवरेज टाइडल वॉल्यूम ऑफ नॉर्मल इंडिविजुअल एट रेस्टिंग कंडीशन दैट इज अबाउट 500 हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ एयर पर ब्रिथ तो पर ब्रिथ के द्वारा हम लोग 500 हंड्रेड एम एल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बाहर को रिलीज करते हैं दिस वॉल्यूम इज ऑल्सो नोन एज टाइडल वॉल्यूम सो द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन वी सी एंड टी इज मैक्सिम हम लोग एक बार में जितना सांस ले सकते हैं फ्रॉम एटमोस्फेरिक एयर से दैट इज द वाइट कैपेसिटी एंड मैक्सिमम जितना कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड हमको रिलीज कर रहा है एक बार कब ब्रीथिंग में दैट इज द टाइडल वॉल्यूम स्टूडेंट आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड सो फॉर टूडे आप टू दिस पोर्शन